What's going on, silencers, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. You may notice uh, things are a little different, and uh, and I'll go over all of it with you in just a moment. But if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. What's going on, silencers, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die as we prepare for the Day 14 Horde. This will be the last episode of this series as... Um, I've decided if you guys do like Seven Days to Die, we'll um, we'll play uh, two Horde Nights of any mod, of any overhaul, including vanilla if you guys are interested, and we'll go from there. Um, I do intend to keep playing after this, but if you guys really are interested, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things, and let me know that you actually want to see more and specifically what kind of thing you want to see more. This has been our realistic playthrough of War of the Walkers. I'm still tweaking, still doing things. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much to my patrons for uh, giving me these ideas in my brain that I can actually do this. But without any further ado, let's get into it. It is 18, 26 hours. Uh, I had crafted up the iron armor as part of the quest and I had organized everything got some oh thought I had some ammo crafting up I guess not is this still crafting yes yeah, so this is still crafting I should have enough to put on some more hollow points so 5.56 hollow points that'll give us 72 more like that'll do anything let's uh empty out that i don't really care about hitting up the trader again before horde night let's open up that geode some silver not bad go in here empty that again uh wood Back with nails. I'm pretty sure I don't have. Oh, I did have a little bit of that. That's okay. Forged ingots. There we go. Hmm. Paint. Gunpowder. Uh, oil. Oil. Uh, nitrate. Oil shale, those. Yep, there we go for that. Get as much of the 5.56 as I can. What else do we have? We have some stones, which we can turn into a stone stack. Which leaves us with probably just a few stones. Yeah, this is a total wreck. I just dumped stuff into here. Oh, I got these. We'll go over those. Um, while we wait, I guess. Let's put all of that away. Go back in here, put that away. Food. Let's grab a shepherd's pie and drinks green tea. Whoops. Get that out of the way. Grab a green tea. Whoops. Jesus. Come on. Put those back. We'll put those back and the rotten flesh will go in there as well oops god damn it uh we'll keep the technician papers which we'll throw up here nope that's a weapon Weapon. Grab the... Let's 
take this, put tool, 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 weapon, 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 tool, tool, weapon, weapon, tool, I guess. Repair materials, we'll put that in there. Fuck it, we're dumping. Because I just want it all out of my inventory. So there's that, there's that. Get that thing out of my inventory. That thing out of my inventory. Handgun ammo. get those and okay so these uh schematics schematic bundles are pretty much exactly what it says on the tin and we're getting towards the end of the night taking all the five five six i have um i don't have any weapons that shoot anything else okay so these schematic bundles they're nice because we can read them and they basically just give us random schematics so we go through we read the ones that we don't have and then scrap them and then do it all over again and there shouldn't be too many that we don't know but it's a good way to uh to do things and then those are all crafting up let's go over here um <laughs> here's a really dumb question can i do it in here Nope, it won't let me. Okay. Well, that sucks. We're going to drop all of the schematics in here. And actually, nothing is sacred now. No holds barred. We just need to survive. And the reason that I'm so freaking skeptical that this is actually going to work is because I need the choke mod, I need the rad remover, I need the bipod mod, the barrel extender, silencer, the two times scope. The reason I'm skeptical about us surviving is because if you'll notice, hey, there's all that shit I was looking. Oh wait, I just put that in there. Never mind. We good. Uh, let's do this. Shotgun choke and that and barrel extent. I'm sorry. I can put a silencer on it. No, we're good. Uh, repair that when we get a chance. Let's do this one. That'll have a silencer on it. Just make it a little more sufferable to friggin' use. This has a silencer and a reflex sight. Let's put the two times sight on it. I wish that was slightly higher level, but I understand. Shit. Repair that. Uh, eh, dump. Oh, yeah. And let's make sure that we've got Molotovs and pipe bombs. What the hell are these? Huh. And grenades. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Um... I'm good on those, actually. So what else did I need? Meds. Get some of these 
trauma kit and that and yeah the horde will be here in just a few minutes well so i guess i i'll give you a little tour while we wait um this is a water well no duh um and it draws infinite amounts of water so i can come up and get dirty uh or not dirty murky water every how often oh every time that's right um and then over here this is our um what do you call them farm plots the farm plots need to have water within uh five tiles in order to be considered uh viable and it turns out that bedrock which is where we're right above this is bedrock down here um that's a water tile according to the game so good news there i built one of those sci-fi doors that we had talked about in the last one and i uh, never got around to using it damn it but that's okay um i also built a light and we never hooked up power so yeah i'm a whole lot of useless and i think after this episode i might take just a little bit of a break from seven days uh i love the game and i mean a break from recording it i'm probably gonna play it ad nauseum but uh but yeah okay let's see i have just a few parts here and there unfortunately uh, da, 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 da. ah yes oh no go up there we go acknowledge Kill confirmed. Gonna put these here and rename them to loot. That way, as we get loot, Acknowledged. we have a place to just loot dump. Request support. That's very loud. All right, sensitivity clutch on. Hold your position. Order acknowledged. Over. The horde will be upon us in just a moment. If you believe in a deity. Now would be the time. Clouds. Acknowledged. Okay. Lieutenant Trevor, I want you to stay where I'm standing. And Sergeant Rock, Fire in the hole. I want you to stay where I am standing. And Sergeant Payne, you stay right there. This is going to get bloody and loud. Weapons free. And then bloody loud. Hopefully we survive tonight at level 500, Over. max level. Day 14. It's not the biggest horde we could get. If you guys are interested, I'll, uh, I'll smash... Uh, smash in a console command and we'll go to day 7,000 and we'll play a, play a horde and see if this base is anything to um, be proud of. I'm going to do um, melee for the first Kill little bit and then we'll go from there. But 
I am going to lock and load. And we have 3,000 rounds of ammo for that, 2984 for that, and 2444 for this one. Fire in the hole. Makes me wish I had the night vision goggles. The only thing that would probably make this better. But we've also got Molotovs. And pipe bombs. So incredibly nervous and I have no idea why. I've been holding my breath for the better part of this day. Fire in the hole. Dude, you are seriously freaking loud and I turned you down. I went into the settings and turned you both down. I'm going to turn my own headset down a little bit. Then maybe that won't bother me so much and I can edit it and post for you guys. Yeah. Two minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, here comes the hordes. We got radiated. Come on, line up. None of that shit's flammable. Come on. Come on. We seem to be doing all right so far. I'm going to level up my shotgun from 0 to 100 tonight. Soldiers are the only reason I'm still alive. complaint about War of the Walkers, it's the variable zombie sizes. I feel like I'm killing children. Oh 
I'm glad to see the fucker stops talking. At least during the, uh, you know, important stuff. I realize I just pumped a few rounds into the open air because I wasn't paying attention. All right, honey, you've got to die. was a max level then, I'm probably going to be soon. There's no point in me using Molotovs. There's too many zombies with, um, fire immunity. we may have made a really good place for ourselves here. side to the shotgun choke mod is that the shotgun really doesn't shoot like a shotgun anymore at any distance. Alright, there we go. That's right, line them up. Where the hell are they all coming from? Go down. All right. Oh. Uh, sorry. Bumped my mouse. Like I'm playing a seriously demented game of uh, balloon pop from the carnival. I wonder how many zombies are currently on the map. But I don't want to take the time to look. Hey. Leave my shit alone.
Go away, spider. Oops. Only four more hours to go. to steal. You are a really tall nurse. Uh, no, mama. Go down. say Max Horde Knight is uh, lagging me out a little bit. No. Go away. Why? Why you get so laggy? got unusually quiet for a moment. Just die. Go down. All right, Amazonus. Let's get you down, too. And stripper girl. ugly. Might let my soldiers take a little bit of a uh, crack at it. like you to meet my shotgun. I 
And here I was thinking it was slowing down. Stupid me. At a blissful, what, three frames a second? Seven? You're really tall. I'm about to defeat you. I would like to say that that's an expression of, um, defeat, but they kind of always have the same expression on their face. Come on. I would very much like this horde night to end. this shotgun has lasted this long. There's a little fire. Toast us some zombies. Let's get another one out. Oop. And that's okay. Doesn't matter if we catch our own base on fire because nothing is wood, so. Two more hours. Yep. Yeah. The game does not like something, and I think it might be all the loot bags, to be entirely honest. You're pretty. in their irradiated donut barf from hell. Yep. Something is just killing the frame rate. I mean, it could be the fact that I have 64 zombies spawning at a time. No, do not explode. Ooh, we got whites, that's what it is. I'm gonna back up for a second. So, you see the big zombies that are look like patchwork quilts? Those are whites. They're the strongest zombies in the game. And when they're irradiated, they're damn near impossible to kill. Did 
die, damn it. I have to time my clicks with, you know, every 50th, uh... Oh, that one's broken. Well, that one kind of came out of nowhere. give. Hold up. Alright, I turned down the quality a little. Should give us a little wiggle room. I forgot that aiming down sight takes stamina. Yeah, I special. We're gonna drink a tea. And we're gonna eat our stuff. And I don't actually need the experience point things because we can't gain experience anyway. Yes, burn baby burn. Disco Inferno. Just waiting for that one to burn out, and then I'll probably toss another one. There we go. Uh-oh. That cop exploded. Well, let's go back to the stabby stabby for a little bit. And I know this episode is going a little long, but uh, I want to get through this horde night, which is only about another hour. And uh, hopefully, Hopefully, get through the loot. And I can show you what our haul was for our last day. Die. Yes, you die, you die, you die. I think I got that guy on his jump up. That was pretty awesome. Arlene. Ooh, somebody actually got a hit on me, goddamn. The zombie's reach is slightly shorter than mine because I've got a pokey pokey stick. Alright. I'm gonna stab you all. Not quite sure what this guy's doing over here, but... But he was certainly thinking about something. Got the cop. Perfect. I can only imagine how many loot bags are at the foot of this. Fifteen. 
15 minutes. Let's open these up. Let the soldiers shoot absolutely everywhere. Five minutes. You can do it. Die. Don't let the cop explode. Kill it before it explodes. All right. It is now daytime, which means we've just got the stragglers to clean up. Shouldn't take more than a moment. Hey, <laughs> got you, bitches. Now they move slower. Horde night over and all. Shoot him. I never noticed that the, um, the lab workers have broken arms. Fire in the hole. All quiet on the Western Front. Order acknowledged. Store everything. Holy mother of loot. Well, let's do the loot up top first. I'll be back with you as soon as I've collected all this. So, uh, we finished our haul. Take a look at this. So this whole chest, all brand new stuff. This whole chest, all brand new stuff. Holy shit, look at all the guns and stuff. God damn. This whole chest, everything that's uh, basically not 5.56 five, ammo, and a little bit of shotgun, oh, a little bit of magnum. Everything down here is new and fair game. And then this would be whatever is uh, currently in our inventory. Oh, yeah. Lots of sniper rifles, lots of guns. Yes. Um, do that. And yeah, so this this is what we walked away with on Horde Night. I don't think we ever need to leave again. But I do need to do some repairs, but that is mine to do. If you did enjoy the content, you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much for joining me for this realistic look at a very unrealistic zombie apocalypse. If you want to see more or you're interested in a specific mod or scenario, please let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you very much to my patrons who provided me a couple of soldiers that uh, helped me, well, stave off the hordes of the ravenous undead. But I won't keep you any longer. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Requesting assistance. Down he goes. <laughs>